for the most part, couples when they begin that awareness of that pattern, that the breaking of the pattern is quite interesting because the one person might express their emotional need and the other one gets defensive because they feel criticized. So right away we've now there's been an invitation to a different dialogue, but the pattern is so ingrained that this defensive mm -hmm. piece of us that feels criticized all the time, yeah. you know, isn't. And now there's the other side of that. Like, uh, you come at me all the time, I feel nagged. You know, what I need you to understand is that when you do that, I feel like I can't show up for you. I feel like I'm not good enough. I feel, yeah. it feels like it's never ending. I already feel like I'm trying to be, you know, everything around here, to everyone. Uh, what, what else can I do? When there's no space for us to step into, you know, when someone's on our ass all the time, yeah. there's no space. And so, mm. that, right. yeah, to even step into, to yeah. say, like, let me get the goddamn towel, but you yell at me before the towel even hits the bed. Yeah. You know, like, you don't give me a space to succeed, and then the other yeah. part I see yeah. is, the partner makes the request, like, I want flowers, I want, and the person says, you only got me flowers because I asked you to. Yeah. yeah, that's the fucking point, you know, but I've heard that many times where the partner yeah, yeah. then doesn't How believe do I the gesture. Yeah. And so they've actually now just killed the gesture. So the vulnerability and the effort by the man of saying like, hey, like, this is what I want and need from you. And the man's like, yeah, let me go do that yeah. thing. Please, and because by it. the way, I really want to do that. Yeah, right? I want to So a lot of the time you. we're in that guessing game. Yeah. Space.